Blossom, if we're going to get to the state science fair on time, we have to leave now. But I'm not done with my project yet. You'll have to go with plan B. <sighs> okay, Professor. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Now, Buttercup, <laughs> Bubbles. Huh? Blossom and I will be over in Citysville for the state science fair until this evening. You two are on your own today. Yes, Professor. So, have fun. We will. Be good. We will. And most importantly, stick together. We will. Woo! Science fair, here we come. This is going to be great. What should we do first, Buttercup? Read to Ofti. Drink tea with Ofti. Do a choreographed dance created by Ofti. Bubbles! You can do whatever you want. I personally have a much larger plan for today, culminating in me getting this. The 100th issue of the Space Tow Truck Comic Limited release goes on sale today. Great! We'll go together. Nope. No way am I letting you near this baby. Why? You'll ruin it. Your hands are always sticky. No, they're not. Ugh. Look, you're eating taffy right now. Well, it's just so stretchy and sweet. Point proven. See ya! Bye, Buttercup! The professor said we should stick together! Woo-hoo! Ah! Free as a bee. Hi, Buttercup. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Buttercup. Ah! I got a loser! Ah! Hi, Buttercup. She won't find me in here. Hi, Buttercup. Ah! Ah! Hi, Buttercup. Buttercup? Buttercup! Yes. Huh. Lost her. Now to get that space tow truck comic. Are you sure you have to leave, Bliss? I'm sorry, girls. With Saturn here, it's created an interstellar imbalance which has thrown the cosmos into chaos. He's right, girls. Now that I'm back to full power, I'm the only one that can push Saturn back into place. Don't go. We still have to come up with nicknames for things we like. Don't worry, Bubbles. We'll do that as soon as I get back. Well, Blossom, I'm leaving you in charge. Good choice. Hey, Buttercup. Have fun in space or whatever. Hey. Stay cool, sis. Dad? I've packed a lunch for your trip into space. Be sure to eat the sandwich first, then the pudding cup. Okay, Dad. Hey, I'm... I'm sorry for everything. I... I just... Oh, I'm going to miss you. I finally get you back and now you're leaving again. Promise me you'll come home soon. I promise, Dad. Bliss, wait! We have something for you! Uh, my old headband! Thank you so much! I'll see you guys soon! We love you! Bye, Bliss! You're my favorite sister! Oh, curse these allergies! <gasps> cookies! Oh, yeah! Gimme, gimme! Yes, cookies! But they're tester batches for the Spring Fling Dance tonight, a.k.a. not for you, Buttercup! Too late! <clears throat> now that's <laughs> terrible. Oh, it's like I ate a whole bag of sawdust. <clears throat> What's in these things? Powdered sadness? For your information, it is a healthy blend of soy mash and chocolate chip flavored soy mash, which has a million times more protein than a regular cookie. Too bad it doesn't taste like a regular cookie. Good morning, girls. What smells so yummy? Want a cookie, Professor? Why, thank you, Blossom. What do you think? Wow, that's, um, um... Ah! Girls, I need your help! Bliss! <laughs> How was outer space? Did you bring me back anything? Well... A wanted poster. It's what I always... desired. No, this, this isn't for you. I did get you a moon rock, though. Ooh. Listen, this is an emergency. I'm hunting a deadly space alien called the Spored. 
It's responsible for destroying entire planets in the Hydra, Cygnus, and Volpecula Nebula. Not the Volpecula Nebula! I'm afraid so. I've been on its tail, a uh, blob tail, and just as I had it cornered, it hightailed it into a meteor that crash landed here on Earth right next to your school. If Sport's hiding in school, let's get in there and take it down. No, Sport is too dangerous. We can't just waltz into school. Aw, all those dance lessons. Wasted. Sport isn't just a normal space alien. Sport's a hyperadaptoid. <gasps> so it can shapeshift. That means it could be anyone, anywhere, anywhere. It can even be you. I knew it. It's me. I'm an alien. Uh, okay. If Sport can change shape, how are we going to find it? Well, I guess I could go to school with you to keep an eye out for anything suspicious. So can I. I just got a job there as a substitute teacher. I'm going to shape some young minds. Great. Uh... Oh, dear. You've got spotted piglet fever, all right. Spotty piglet fever? Oh, yes. I'd recognize those symptoms anywhere. Snorting. Sneezing. Red spots. Imagining you're climbing Mount Everest. I'm not leaving you, Mr. Sherpa. We're reaching the summit together. Okay, Bubbles. No school for you today. Bubbles gets to stay home while I have to go to school like a nerd? Don't worry, Professor. I'll get Bubbles homework for her. <laughs> Blossom, too? Why do I have to be so healthy and perfect? Even in normal folks, spotted piglet fever can be pretty tough. But in superheroes, who knows? As long as you take this antidote every hour, that should keep your bigger symptoms in check. All right, open up. Huh. Mm -mm. Hmm, I know what you need. Here comes the airplane. Ugh, here comes the song. Drink the antidote, drink it up. Better from a plane than from a cup. Drink the antidote, drink it up. Better from a plane than from a cup. And now you just need a little rest and some peace and quiet. Job interview today! Job interview today! Job interview today! Job interview today! What was that? That was ScheduleBot, reminding me I have a job interview today. But I guess I'll have to cancel. Someone has to take care of my little girls. Even if that means staying home. Staying home. Staying home. I'll stay home. How could I abandon my sisters when they're so sick? What just happened? We got new powers! <laughs> hey, Bubbles, stick fast! <laughs> Your powers are awesome. I mean, I bet yours will be even better when you get them. I hope so. I wasn't very helpful today without them. Girls, it's time to go to bed. Professor, when do you think I'll get my new powers? There's no way of knowing when or even if you'll get new powers. You might never get them. In fact, you might lose the powers you have and end up being just an ordinary little girl. Uh, well... I love you. Good night. Do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Do it again. All right, but just one more time. <laughs> I'm a monkey. Yet and might never get them. Never get them. Never get them. I gotta go. I'll see you guys at home. I can still believe in funny papers. Now I'm taller, smaller. <laughs> I get it! <laughs> Come on, Blast, cheer up! 
Yeah, the new episode of Slice is starting. I do love that show. That kitchen is so well organized. In the last episode of Sliced, our contestants were not living up to their full potential. Some people are naturally gifted, and some people have no special abilities at all and should <clears throat> probably find a new path in life. So on tonight's episode, we are bringing back some of our favorite failures. Sliced Redemption. Chefs, today you will make a dish of your choosing. Your time will start now. I have created the perfect dish. Chef Snitzel is back? He brings the drama. Behold, Sepahak Braten Plata, otherwise known as Pimento Meatloaf. Forks out once again, bringing it in for the taste. No monster yet. And I spoke too soon. See? See, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go! Blossom? Uh, you girls go ahead. I'm just... useless. Blossom, just because you don't have new powers doesn't mean you're useless. Help us, Powerpuff Girls, especially the two with the cool new powers. You can bring that other one along, but without new powers, she'll probably be pretty useless. <sighs> you guys go. I'm gonna stay here and staple some papers. It helps me think. Blossom! It's back. Whoa! Hey, Blossom, great party! One piece of candy. Mmm, I see why they call it fun size. Hey, girls, don't stay up too late. Remember, we're going to Splash City Water Park in the morning. <laughs> we'll be the first kids in history to ride the Rocktopus! Rocktopus! Eight arms. Eight loops. No mercy. Rocktopus! Now, now, go easy on the candy girls. No! I mean, don't worry, Professor. We won't eat too much. We promise. All right, then. Be good, girls. Hit it! Huh? Oh. 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 Raisins, the nature's candy. Hmm. Well, that's a, um,. Healthy alternative. Candy! End of flashback. We ate so much candy. I don't remember anything after that. How are we gonna find bubbles? <laughs> Hello? Blossom. Hey, I'm running some errands, so I'll be back to pick all you girls up in one hour. Oh, okay, Professor. S sounds great. One hour? What are we gonna do? I knew we should have stopped eating all of that candy. We should have gone to bed early. We should have listened to the professor. Ugh, pipe down, Captain. Should have.